Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are looking at the trouble with girls. I'm Eva Slash here on YouTube. My name is Michelle and we are on Sunday trailer day. So today's Sunday, so today it's trailer day. I got loads of other ones on my playlist. So please go and have a look at the playlist because there's loads of Elvis trailers there. They're all in order that Elvis made them so you can watch them succinctly. Okay, so let's get into it. The Trouble with Girls is a 1969 movie. Elvis plays Walter Hale. And he is with a travel in Chautauqua. So you don't see a lot of Elvis in this, which is the biggest shame of the movie. But I absolutely love The Trouble with Girls. I think it's glorious. I love Sherry North, who is in it. Just love her. She's amazing. And her acting is insane. But there's so many good actors in this. It's a fantastic movie. But there's not enough of Elvis. But anyway, Chautauqua goes all around the towns. And I think it should have been called Chautauqua, not The Trouble with Girls, um, big time. So... Yeah, but they they think, I think they thought about calling it Chautauqua, but they didn't think people would be able to pronounce it. But I can see it pretty easy, Chautauqua. I love it. So you go, the travel in Chautauqua goes around all these little small towns and then you get to meet this one town full of its people and um, what they're getting up to and what's happening in their little town. So there is a murder. Someone does a murder. And um, yeah, I won't tell you who because you're going to have to go watch it. And it's finding out who done it because one of the guys that's accused of it is a person who works in the Chautauqua. Not Elvis, by the way. So Elvis helps in the hunt for this person who did the murder. Um, oh gosh, it's a good movie. It's a really good movie. I love it. Marilyn Mason plays um, Elvis's love interest in this and she's brilliant. I love her. And um, there's Sherry North, of course, who plays Nita Bix. I love her. Edward Andrews, John Carradine, Vincent Price makes uh, an appearance as Mr. Morality. And he, because in the Chautauqua, you'd have like a Mr. Morality section, a music section, another kind of like it's a moral, moral show as well as an entertainment show. Um, and he's fantastic in it. And I don't think they say it at the same time as Elvis was there with um, Mr. Morality, which is Vincent Price. So I don't think they met. But, um, well, there isn't any pictures of so, which would be lovely if there was. So there's just some brilliant scenes in it, and I love it. In June 59, it was announced that Don Mankiewicz would write a screenplay of an unpublished story by Maury Grasham, Day Green, Day Keen, and Dwight Babcock. By December 60, with the project titled Chautauqua, MGM was ready to make the film with Glenn Ford. Rumours circulating in Hollywood at the time stated that Presley would co-star with Ford, Hope Lang and Arthur O'Connell. Um, as it says here, Chautauqua was the working title but was later changed to The Trouble with Girls as the worried audiences would not understand the title or be able to pronounce it. So yeah, but I think it, Chautauqua works. Um, filming Elvis Presley was paid again, 850000 and 50% of the profits. Colonel Parker originally wanted actress Jean Hale for the female lead but Marlon Mason was given the job from the insistence of the director. Um, Peter Tewksbury and ironically Jean Hale's husband Dabney Coleman would later be cast. The Trouble with Girls was released as the bottom half of a double feature sharing the screen with Raquel Welsh drama Flare Up. Okay so Roger Greenspra of the New York Times as we lead on to reception called it a charming though ineptly titled comedy with Presley performing a reasonably developed characterization as the Chautauqua company manager and he sings very well. Variety wrote, Elvis Presley's lost in this one without the star's usual assortment of 10 to 12 songs. <sighs> Remember last week they were saying there should be more songs, there should be songs in channel. And numbers cut down to bare three, picture has little to offer. Okay, we'll keep moving. The monthly film bulletin wrote, the plot's rather curious blend of amateur theatricals, folksy humour and straight melodrama strains even for a Presley film and the few songs are instantly forgettable. Vincent Price makes an odd and quite appealing guest appearance as the um, lecturer known as Mr Morality, but Presley himself seems uninterested in the whole affair. I don't think so. Well, uh, well it met with um, generally poor reviews on release, post-Presley death, critics revisited the film and started to acknowledge its merits. Interesting narrative, fantastic narrative, strong supporting cast, very strong supporting cast, authentic period feel, fantastic authentic feel, and amazing filming techniques and new filming techniques. And I think that is so true. There's some amazing techniques in there. I honestly think this film is fantastic and one of Elvis's best. I really like it. There's just not enough of Elvis in it. That's the only problem. Um, Trouble Girls performed poorly at the cinema. 
but strongly in the drive-in circuit. And I think if it was played more on TV, people would really like it. I think loads more people would watch it and enjoy it. When you get right down to the nitty gritty, It's Elvis Presley. He's the boss, boss man of a groovy travel and tent show. A lot of office crappers. <clears throat> it's a little wicked and wild. Weird and wacky. The Trouble with Girls is walloping way out entertainment. Two in the middle and I can't get Josie. Two in the middle and I can't get around. Two in the middle and I can't get Josie. Hello, Susan Brown. Why don't you swing down, sweet Jerry? Let me ride. Oh, sweet. Stop and let me ride. Rock me, Lord. Rock me, Lord. Come and ease you. Well, I got home on the other side. Could it have been an accident, Constable? The killer hasn't shown up yet. I mean, the killer's on the loose. Signs of the Zodiac. Signs of the Zodiac. The future is in the little sign of the Zodiac. The relations between negotiating parties must be honest and intimate. Uh, hmm. Oh, what do you propose? <laughs> What's he doing to her? Absolutely brilliant trailer, as you can see. It's glorious. And you know, thinking about it, I mean, Elvis fans always want more Elvis, but guess what? Um, it's a really good supporting cast. So Elvis is amongst everybody. They're all together. You've got amazing scenes from Sherry North. There's just all of them working together as a cast ensemble. And I think it's really beautiful, actually. So I think it should have been called Chautauqua because that's what it's about. It's about this little traveling show, going to little towns in America, and discovering what those little towns are about. And I think it's really beautiful, actually. And I just love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. My only gripe was having more Elvis, but in some ways, if I look at it now, it's think... seeing Elvis work amongst other actors. And I think it's actually pretty good and pretty impressive. So yeah, I love it. So thanks for joining me on this one. What do you think of The Trouble With Girls? Put in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I shall see you next week for the last one of our Elvis movies. Change a habit. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.